Joining us now to talk about norovirus is Communicable Disease Manager at the Southern Nevada Health District, Kimberly Franich, joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. I know you don't track norovirus numbers, but is it safe to assume that norovirus is in our community? Yeah, absolutely. And we do uh, expect to see increases between the months of November and April. Uh, quite frequently, what we receive is reports of clusters or even outbreaks. So, uh, you know, condensed illnesses in a small group of people. And, and that we do see and expect to, to uh, hear soon. So we just heard in that in that piece there that about the symptoms, but the symptoms sound a lot like food poisoning. Would I even know the difference? How would I know that, that I had norovirus and not food poisoning? Yeah, you may not. And in fact, you can get norovirus from contaminated food or from a food handler who's sick and maybe hasn't washed their hands thoroughly with soap and water. Um, one of the key symptoms that is associated with norovirus, though, is vomiting. So in addition to the diarrhea, the stomach cramping that you would get with other typical foodborne illnesses, um, generally speaking, you would notice vomiting with norovirus. It's generally not deadly, though, right? I mean, in particular cases with underlying health conditions, maybe. But most of the time, it is like food poisoning. You just get over it over time. Am I right? That's true. Most people recover between one and three days. Um, but it can feel very severe during the time. The symptoms can be extreme, and it is very uncomfortable. So what do I do to treat it if I get it? At this time, there really isn't a treatment outside of treating the symptoms. So because of the symptoms, you're prone to dehydration. So it's important to follow up with your healthcare provider. If you have concerns, um, seek medical advice and stay hydrated. So if I have the flu, I don't want to go to work because I don't want to give my coworkers the flu. But if I have the norovirus and I'm washing my hands on a regular basis, can I go about my, my daily duties? No, I mean, absolutely. You would want to stay home while sick. Uh, particularly with these symptoms, you would not feel well. And I would like to say for those who are dealing with food, maybe in a restaurant or a catering service, if you're sick, definitely don't be preparing food. Um, and for those who may not feel sick, it's really critical to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water prior to preparing food. Okay, so is that a key here? If I don't have the norovirus, but I go to a work environment where I'm around 50 to 100 people, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, washing my hands is my best way to prevent it? Absolutely, washing your hands uh, frequently and often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If you're a caretaker caring for others, it's especially important that you do this. Um, it is possible to transmit unknowingly, so keeping your hands clean and then if you are sick, staying home is the best uh, preventative measures. Yeah, it's, <laughs> washing your hands with soap and water is a great way to prevent a lot of illness, as it turns out. We hear it over and over again. Kimberly Franich from the Southern Nevada Health District, we appreciate your time on this Tuesday. We hope everybody has a healthy holiday. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, take care.